How fast are today's Macs compared to the first Apple computers? In this video, we'll see how much performance has improved in each major Mac generation, all the way up to the iMacs of today. Let's journey back to 1976, where it all began. The Apple I, hand-built by Steve Wozniak, was powered by the Moss 6502 chip, running at 1 MHz, and was paired with 4 kilobytes of RAM standard. This chip held about 3,500 active transistors, which we'll use as a rough measure of speed for the rest of the video. Fast forwarding a year to 1977, we have the Apple II. This machine had the same chip and RAM as the Apple I, but was built for the mass market. Apple released many different models of the Apple II, and it was finally discontinued in 1993 after 6 million units were sold. The original Macintosh, also called the Macintosh 128K, released in 1984 and revolutionized personal computing. The Motorola 68000 chip inside it operated at 7.8 MHz and had around 68,000 transistors, all with 128 kilobytes of RAM. By transistor count, we're now 19 times the number we started this journey at. The Macintosh Classic 2 launched in 1991 with 2 megabytes of RAM and operated with a Motorola 68030 chip, which ran at 16 megahertz and contained about 273,000 transistors. We are now at 78 times the number of transistors as the Apple one. The iMac G3 in 1998 had a new vibrant design and was the first major release after Steve Jobs returned to Apple. It had 32 megabytes of RAM standard, and its PowerPC G3 processor contained about 6.35 million transistors, with a 233 megahertz clock speed. By this point, we have nearly 1800 times the transistors we started with. 2002's iMac G4 had a completely new design, contained 128 megabytes of RAM, and housed the PowerPC G4 chip. This CPU boasted around 33 million transistors and had an initial clock speed of 700 MHz. The iMac G5 of 2004 showcased a new all-in-one design and came with 256 MB of RAM. The PowerPC G5 chip inside had a clock speed of 1.6 GHz and carried around 58 million transistors. In 2006, Apple switched from PowerPC to Intel, and the iMac Core Duo was launched. This had 512 megabytes of RAM and a 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core Duo CPU with 151 million transistors, now 43,000 times the number as the Apple One. In 2007, we had the launch of the new aluminum iMac, which was powered by 1 gigabyte of base RAM and the Intel Core 2 Duo, which had around 291 million transistors with a speed of 2 gigahertz. This is 83,000 times the number of transistors we started with. The unibody iMac of 2009 was launched with a brand new design. In 2010, it was refreshed to come standard with 4GB of RAM and a 3GHz Intel Core i3 CPU that housed 382 million transistors. 2014 saw the launch of the 5K iMac, which featured a brand new high-resolution screen. The base configuration had 8GB of RAM standard and came with a 3.5GHz Core i5 that contained 1.4 billion transistors, 400,000 times what we started with. For professionals, Apple in 2017 introduced the iMac Pro with a standard 3.2GHz Intel Xeon processor. While the exact transistor count isn't publicly disclosed, it was still a large leap in both CPU speed and other areas. An example of how far we've come is that a single iMac Pro can be upgraded to have 512GB of RAM, which is almost the same as the combined factory installed RAM of all 6 million Apple IIs ever sold. Finally, in 2021, the iMac saw a rebirth with Apple's new M1 chip and came with 8GB of RAM by default. This 8-core CPU contains over 16 billion transistors which is an amazing 4.5 million times the original Apple One. Apple is soon expected to announce an iMac with a brand new M3 CPU. We don't know the exact details yet, but since it'll likely be built on the new TSMC 3nm architecture, 
we could see the transistor count increase by 33%. This could lead to the new iMac having 26 billion transistors in the base model, which is 7.4 million times our starting point. Again, these are all just estimates, but I'll update the video with a comment once we have more details from the Apple event. Apple's trajectory over the years serves as a testament to the boundless possibilities of human ingenuity. Each transistor, each new CPU, each megabyte of RAM encapsulates a story of progress. As we look back, it's astounding to witness how far we've come and I can't wait to see where we go in the future. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like or comment down below, hit the bell for notifications, and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see everyone in the next video.